yeti.com slash games done quick. Um, that'll show all of the t-shirts available on sale uh, for this marathon. $3 of every t-shirt is donated to the charity, which is basically the profit that the Yeti and the artist would make from the t-shirt. And, an, and another sponsor of ours is Aver Media. They graciously donated lunch for uh, $2,000 worth of lunch for the attendees of this event. And they're selling capture card, discounted capture cards with a promo at bit.ly slash promo. We have $40 from Cuddly Lizard. Just got an unexpected tax reimbursement. Share the love. Also, thanks for showing off so many underrated games. We have $5 from Daniel Ad Ad Adamski. He says, Kirby all the way. You cannot dispute the fact that Kirby is the cutest of them all. Remember, Kirby is cute. And we have $10 yeah, from go, Blake yeah, Dolan. Go, uh, also known as Cloakers Seinfeld. He says, hey, Plum, it's your pal, Cloakers. Uh, good luck with the run. Donating now is apology that I slept through Pulseman. Yo, Hope thanks, Cloakers. Uh, so are we almost ready? Okay, um, five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, all right, this is Yoshi's story, and uh, it's all melons, and I don't think anyone's ever been as nervous about eating two bananas as I am right now. <laughs> You're not going to eat it. Um, basically, this category, if you don't know much about Yoshi's story, it's pretty much 100%. Uh, it's just called all melons due to a technicality. Uh, I was really worried about that watermelon. Um, there are a lot, there's a lot of cool speed tech in Yoshi's Story. That's uh, one thing that really makes it stand out. Uh, the big thing about this game is being able to eat a bunch of fruit really fast while trying to always maintain your momentum. Uh, and there are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, the main uh, one you're going to see a lot of in this run is called a dustless ground pound. Uh, if I... That was one of the bananas I was worried about. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, we're not getting our potassium for today. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the tongue will reach out to the outer fruit. When it's uh, yeah, the hitboxes for fruits in this game are really weird. Uh, we're not really sure uh, what fruit they give priority to, uh, but the game just kind of does what it wants. Uh, also, the game picture on the screen is kind of messed up if the tech crew person wants to look at that. Uh, it's really messed up. <laughs> Yeah, it's been like that. Oh, okay. N ignore me then. I'll keep playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, but those uh, ground pounds I'm doing, uh, by doing a dustless ground pound, I completely eliminate the uh, ending lag frames of a ground pound, and I'm able to just move immediately. Uh, you'll also notice I'm mashing B a lot. Every time Yoshi uh, uh, tongues while ascending in the air, you will gain a little bit of height, uh, about a pixel, uh, so if you just mash B really fast, uh, you can get some good height. Um, and do you want to do resets? Sure. Um, this game also has uh, really long uh, cutesy cutscenes that uh, most people remember this game for, where the Yoshis sing and the page turns and they all get happier. Uh, but we don't want the Yoshis to get happier. We just want to go fast. Yeah, I want to be so, the reset guy here. 
There we go. Reset? See a Yoshi's. The page is turning. I gotta do it like five times. <laughs> uh, and Sounds fun. Uh, I selected White Yoshi for that level. White Yoshi is superior for speedrunning uh, on most levels for a couple reasons. White Yoshi only takes about one second to select, and after eating a heart-shaped fruit called a super happy fruit, uh, White Yoshi will become super happy, and that means you can uh, flutter at running speed. <laughs> you also get massive egg explosions, because that's what happens when you're happy. So uh, we do have a $20 donation from Dan Salvato. He says, no pressure, Plumpty. There are only 40,000 people watching you substitute my run. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm super happy to have such a cool guy running this game with me. Wish I was there so we could be couch buddies. Maybe next time. But meanwhile, keep licking those melons. Your true bro, Dan Salvato. Uh, Dan's the uh, person who rooted this category, and he's the only other runner for this game. Uh, he's a really cool dude, and... There's a lot of fruits that aren't melons right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, by utilizing White Yoshi, uh, uh, Yoshi's Story has its own version of Lava Skip coming up, and I can get through that pretty quick with a uh, running speed flutter, uh, which is really nice. Uh, this level may seem like it's uh, one of the more tricky levels just because of all the lava, but Ignore that. Just imagine that's ground and all the pressure goes away. Yeah, he has to get really deep in the lava for it to count as a death. No, no, we just went uh, to lava. Oh, whoops, oh, yeah, we're yeah, back. Yeah. Uh, by using the invent... <laughs> With the invincibility frames we get from the blur, we can actually just <laughs> run on solid ground right above the kill point. And... Oh god, it's a lava skip. Do you guys want to get a couch call over here? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Plum, and I hope I don't die right now. I didn't <laughs> die. <laughs> I'm Miles. I'm Crack Attack. He's also the guy that just reset the game. Shoutouts to him. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to do any more shoutouts this run. I learned my lesson. It's going to be Shoutout City. All right, and these are crate games. Uh, when you run to the right, the crates uh, go up. When you jump... <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a really scary game. Like, you think it looks cute, you think it's a storybook. This game is the epitome of resets. <laughs> and just like in Yoshi's Island, you can angle egg shots down and throw them through solid objects. It's pretty cool. Did it reset? Yes, thank you, reset man. Reset guy. Because he's going to be mashing the button, so uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of time if I do it. It's not him. just like a placebo uh, effect sort of thing. It actually does make the uh, score screen uh, go faster. So I have a question. Which song is better, uh, the Yoshi's singing or the credits music in Nights? Oh, why are you giving me the most difficult questions? <laughs> I've got to focus on the run right now. Uh, I'm, I'm asking just gonna the important questions here. I'm just going to say the uh, Christmas acapella from Christmas night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, you're going to see a cool trick here. Uh, normally, the level's called frustration as well. Uh, yeah, shout outs. <laughs> oh my god, no, no more shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, there are those wheels and we're supposed to go inside them, but I, I'm i scared of wheels too outside of everything else in this run, so we're just gonna flutter away. Uh, uh, sustained flutters are definitely easier than Yoshi's Island, but there's still a small frame window for them. Yo, no more <laughs> shout outs, please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah here's another wheel we're gonna go through uh and i just wasted some egg uh that's actually one thing about uh yoshi's story that you'll immediately notice uh compared to yoshi's island is that uh egg management is uh, a lot easier um and it's just nicer in my opinion uh Sort of uh, where neutral egg shots in Yoshi's Island, if you're familiar with that game, you just um, 
you angle them 45 degrees down, then they just bounce right back at 90 degrees. Uh, in this game, uh, all your neutral eggs are uh, just straight forward. And if you jump while priming the egg for the least amount of time possible, uh, you can actually not lose any of your momentum while throwing the egg, and it's really nice. So that's sort of my main method for breaking uh, bubbles, dumping up fruits and stuff in this run. Also keep in mind when, when he throws an egg, there's also, because it's a white Yoshi, there's an explosion as well, so it hits a lot. Yeah, white Yoshi and black Yoshi too have larger egg explosion radiuses, um, which helps on a couple areas. Oh god. I did it! <laughs> it was close. Uh, basically what I do there is after I pick up the uh, crates, um, I run to the left because that's uh, far enough left to actually despawn that snake. So um, I'm already running right at full speed towards that intersection while the snake is spawned, which gives me barely enough time to get past him. And the bosses in this game are... It's like every other boss in a speedrun. Uh, there's a boss now. Uh, in a couple seconds, there won't be. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, out of everything I was nervous in this run about, you're clapping about the one thing I wasn't nervous at all about. Ex exactly. Yeah. Shout outs to clapping. Uh. <laughs> 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 gotta do those resets. Hey, someone's gotta do it. It's a tough job. Yeah. Yes the only way you can do it. <laughs> All right, and uh, coming up is a level that uh, I'm sure a lot of you remember from your childhood and probably hate from your childhood because it was just terrifying. Uh, we're gonna go to a level with a bunch of giant fish that eat you whole. Um, and the funny thing about them is uh, normally when Yoshi eats the fruit, um, he'll get like a little heart or something above his head to say like, he's happy regaining health and the fish actually gets one of those above his head when he eats Yoshi so <laughs> they're a good meal this is probably the only game where like the goal is to get happy <laughs> <laughs> well actually we're skipping all the cutscenes so we're not getting any happier but we're getting closer to our tree well that doesn't mean he's not happy because of the cutscene and water controls in this game <laughs> suck. This is the most water we're gonna have to deal with uh, for our run, though. Yeah, when he's swimming, the uh, the tongue goes in different directions sometimes. Yeah, uh, Yoshi's tongue always wants to pretty much go to the right while you're in the water if you're not holding a direction, uh, and it can make a couple things really disorienting. And the best part about being super happy is we get this awesome rock theme. It's the only thing to do when you're happy. <laughs> what could be happier than rock? <laughs> Heavy metal. I I'm sorry. It's like, I can't make jokes. I'm too <laughs> nervous. He's bad punch. Am I good to read some donations? Oh, yeah, totally. Go for it. We have $15 from Jason Kono. This good morning. What a great way to start the morning with a speedrun on one of the most memorable N64 games of my childhood. I remember falling in love with the music and most of all, Yoshi's voice that had been has been recycled in many games afterward. Thank you to all SGDQ staff and runners for this amazing event. All right, and now we've got the hardest mini game we play in one lap coming up. Uh, if this looks hard, uh, don't worry. In the full category, there's a mini game that's like 10 times harder than this. All right, I'm actually gonna take this easy because I choked on this like 50 times in practice today. Oh my, there we go. Uh, yeah, when I'm actually doing uh, serious attempts, uh, you pretty much just wanna get the uh, perfect angle right off the bat at the bottom and then you can just do a bunch of really fast jumps up those platforms. Uh, the hard part about that is uh, the way you jump, you don't have any room to move to the left. Cool. Uh, what I want to do there is I want to uh, throw my egg to break the bubble, then get the uh, super happy fruit into my mouth before um, 
the egg explosion really goes off, so uh, it will break the next bubble on the screen. Because while White Yoshi is super happy, your egg explosions will break every bubble on screen. And this guy used to be a nightmare in the run, because there was a chance he could push you away from the block. But by doing that quick little setup, uh, not a chance. He's just not his day. And we're going to get the melons and peace out. And all of these are really good times for donations. Uh, the score screen's going into the next level. Alright, and this game actually does run at uh, 60 frames per second, and in the level coming up, uh, we're going to see a instance of where they made a concession to achieve that. Um, a lot of the stuff uh, in this game has a certain priority for uh, despawning, and um, certain things with a very low priority, um, the second they go off screen, they despawn, uh, which a lot of enemies do. And um, we're going to see some bombs fired from the background. Off screen, they're gone. Uh, and that just makes navigating this a lot easier because we need to go in between those pipes to get that final melon to spawn. So we do have some upcoming uh, bids. Um, one is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. It's at $4,095.02 out of 5000 If you want that played, you'll have to get it in uh pretty soon because it'll be played around the time of oracle of seasons today and and speaking of oracle of seasons we have a bid war for which animal friend to use you can choose ricky the kangaroo um no all coins do is add to your score the Big thing with coins, though, you'll notice I do collect a few. Uh, I probably should have pointed it out in the last level. Um, there are certain objects in the game um, where if you collect them in a row, um, well, it's not really the objects, but the game places triggers behind them, and you're supposed to collect the object to activate the trigger, and that will cause like a melon or a heart to spawn. And for which animal friend to use during Oracle of Seasons, uh, Ricky the Kangaroo is winning at $711. Moosh the Bear is uh, trailing only a bit behind at $613. And Dimitri the Dodongo uh, needs needs a lot of help if you guys want him because he's only at $75.10. Yes, there is a way to dupe fruits. Um, it's really weird. Uh, no one really cares enough to look into it because it's something so uh, just. Uh, I kind of want to. It'll take a bit to explain, uh, but I might as well. I'm here, right? Uh, basically, the levels in this game are sort of built out of uh, blocks, uh, making up specific sections and portions of the level. Um, sorry, oh, I need to focus for a second. All right. I want to do that while I'm still super happy so I can get the uh, running speed from being, running flutter speed from being super happy. Uh, but basically, like I was saying, levels in this game are built up of uh, blocks, chunks, um, and there are seams to those chunks, and you'll notice them occasionally when the screen doesn't want to scroll while aiming an egg. Um, if you get a melon usually from a bubble onto one of those seams specifically and you can eat it to where it would despawn on the same frame, then you, it will actually still be there and you can eat it another, another time. Uh, it's not really useful for melons. Where it would be useful though is an all lucky fruit run um, because there are just not enough uh, lucky fruits in any of the levels in chapter two to actually beat them with 30 of a lucky fruit, which is kind of a shame. 
Uh, there is a task of the game, but no one... Uh, duping is so finicky that no one's really bothered to really figure out how it works. That's just how I'm guessing it works. Because we know it's possible. Yeah, we... Uh, yeah, you can already do that, though. Um, just with... With Lucky Fruits, yeah. Um, you'll notice, uh, in this run, every time I eat seven melons, I'm gonna die. <laughs> well, you sound like more oh, like you're in a I horror movie. I forgot to eat that. That's, that's a fruit story. I need. There we go. Uh, every time I eat seven melons in a row, I will get a super happy fruit. Uh, the same goes for lucky fruits. If you eat, uh, seven of your lucky fruit in a row, you will spawn a super happy fruit. And if you ground pound while you're super happy, all shy guys on the screen will turn into your lucky fruit. So, uh, a lucky fruit run will basically be chaining, uh, get seven fruits, get super happy, find seven enemies to ground pound, and do that until you're at 30 fruits. Because at most, there's only gonna be about 15 of a fruit other than melons, which is one reason why melons is specifically like, it's not an arbitrary thing. Um, there are 30 in each level and you need uh, exactly 30 fruits to beat a level. Funny how that works. Yeah, and they're always in the same location as well. We have $100 from Nicholas Carr. Yay, Yoshi. I hope this helps to the cause. We have $25.02 from Sporty Board. I got a donate for Leon P's LADX run. It would be prime if it didn't get run. Much love to all my five. Getting hit there doesn't matter because we need to wait for that uh, cloud to stop spinning anyway. So. Much love to all my 502 friends who are SGDQ. 502 from womb to womb. Yeah. I will say this, um, Leon P, as far as I know, does have the record for Link's Awakening DX, so it will be a really good run if you donate for it. Also, we have $15 from Michael Lindsay. He says, congrats to Plum for getting Yoshi Story into SGDQ. Thanks to everyone in the Yoshi Story community for bringing this game as far as it's come. And thanks, Dan Salvato, for being a cool dude. And yeah, I'm learning this, slowly but steadily, Yoshi. Yahoo! Also, a quick shout out to the Japanese community. Uh, we have $270 from Ram Ram 7 and $5 from Salmon. Hey, Plum. It's coming back. <laughs> and $5 from Sam from Salmon. Hey, Plum. I remember watching your practice runs while talking a mumble. Time for the real deal. Good luck. Yo, thanks, Salmon. Uh, so, yeah, we're basically at the end of the run right now. Uh, we've basically just got to do a silly crate mini game that a lot of people struggle with casually uh but we're not casual we're speed running so <laughs> we got this uh it's just kind of tricky because now you've got to manage to balance them in a way where you can actually catch them all hey we did it All right, and there's just one melon we need to go back for. Um, that was on our crate course, and we're all set. Uh, Dustless, so I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but uh, this game runs at 60 FPS, and there are only six frames to do that, so um, it, that's why I'm like, half consistent with it. Although I'm just making excuses, I apologize. I'm gonna get called out on the internet for that. <laughs> All right, get ready on time. Oh, thank you. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the end of the game. See you, Bowser. Uh, yeah, we just played through the whole game, and I didn't <laughs> choke once. Nice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Serious, though, like, I... No, That's it's not time. No, I, don't get to I can't anymore. like express how nervous I was <laughs> going throughout this run because there are just so many ways to cause a reset. There are melons that if you don't get them first try, like all the mini games, they'll just never respawn. You need to reset the whole game. If you eat one of the whole fruits, you need to reset. Oh, time. Time. 
That's really solid. That is, wow, nice. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> the horror of Yoshi's story. I know is my over. mom and dad are watching. I did it, you guys. <laughs> I did it. Right. We ate 180 melons. What do you want? And no bananas. All right. Uh, SGD. So we have. <laughs> it's right next to the P. Don't blame me. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you thought I was not terrible at this game, uh, you should check out Dan Slovato because he's a lot better than I am. He's been playing for longer. Uh, he cares more about this game, quite frankly, but he's a super cool dude. Um, <laughs> man, mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Dan. Hi. All right. Have a good ask. So we have $25 from Matthew Zero. He says, I love Yoshi's story, and I'm glad to be watching the run. Love SGDQ. Uh, $15 from Link2x. Uh, hmm, needs more Nintendo. Link's Awakening, anyone? $35 from Alicia Rockenhauser. Loved Yoshi's story as a kid, and seeing it as a speedrun is really cool. Thanks for all you guys. You, uh, thanks for all you guys are doing to raise money for a great cause. Okay, and that was Yoshi's Story featuring Soothing Plum Tea. Next up is New Super Mario Brothers U uh, featuring E. Waller. But before that, a quick commercial break, and I, Mike Uyama, I'm signing out, and up on the mic next will be I Like Being Smart. <laughs>